Hello and welcome! My name is Bishton and today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Reich. Alrighty, so I've done a little bit looking around with units and whatnot, and I've realized we have 500 air experience, which is the max you can have. Now, what can you do with air experience? Well, you can upgrade your fighters, or your, your planes. Now, we could supposedly wait for this fighter, but that's in a very long time. Um, it has 71 agile, 500 speed, well 700 speed, and 27 attack. This 18 attack, um, 500 speed and then only 50 agility so not an amazing plane compared to what it could be however we could upgrade this so we could give it the same attack um then give it the same engine and then that's too much however we could greatly increase its attack make it stupidly unreliable Okay, can't do that still can't do that oh wait that's range that's why So we can increase its max speed by a bit. No, wait, we can't do that either. Oh, uh, we can do this. So increases attack by quite a bit. Speed, a little bit. Reliability. I mean, really, well, no, if we'd, we'd want to do something like that, but we can't. All right, so let's just go with this. Um, with that, I think if we just unselect all of these, go to planes, and go to the A, the A, and as you see, we've only lost 8% efficiency. This is because it's basically the same plane with a pretty big upgrade. Now we need, unfortunately, 1,200 planes. Holy crap, we have free civilian factories. It's a miracle. Um Guess we could get more military factories. Shift click build max. Oh, let's start building the max in a bunch of places. That should keep us busy for a long time. Um, I also saw that, yeah, we're starting to finish training the first batch of Marines. We also have eight medium divisions of armor just sitting here. we might I think making a naval plan is oh there we go so you have to select it afterwards and it'll move quickly Greece join the allies Bulgaria declared war on Greece. How nice. Well. I mean, I really don't want to fight 
Although we've got quite a bit of soldiers here. Um, 31. Oops. And 23 is good enough. Nope. Alright, we have to reselect a bunch of forces. There are 53 forces here. Alright, we'll split them. Deselect a few. Grab another 24 stack. Make a front line there. And we'll grab everyone. Wait for the game to lag for a little bit. Got 45 undecided troops. However, some are Marines. I guess I'm just going to do it like this. Whoops, I grabbed one. Actually, Now we can just go straight to the Middle East. Oh, Northern France. Something got bombed. Oh wait, no, a naval invasion on Northern France. That's fine. Right there? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we have a research. Oh uh, no, let's... We have not been doing this at all. And we need to. Okay, we got an ace and we got our navy... Focus. Okay. Let's get a navy effort in. So the Navy effort. Oh wait, you've already started it. We have two more dark yards. Dark yards, yes. Um Let's get a York. Whole bunch of planes attacked us. Enemy has air superiority here. Well, not for long. I'll just do a group of 200. Oh wow, they have like 400. And it should be fine. We'll take losses, but we'll be able to replenish those losses, and I'm doubting that they can. Okay, can we just push right through? Uh, maybe. And let's just push through there. Yeah, we can push through. And then Tab is, Briz is their new capital, which we're about to take. 
And then their new, new capital is over here. And just send all 23 there. However, that means that they're the eight there is going to take a while to get there, but we should be okay. Considering that this is mostly an armored division at this point. Like, we have a lot of armor in here. Alright, we still need more rubber. We have free military factories. We have four free military factories. Well then. Um, let's get to work on more tanks then. We need quite a few military tanks. We still need a stupid amount of infantry equipment though. Uh, naval combat. Naval combat. We lost the sub. Port strike. We lost the sub. However, it looks like we should be relatively good once they get in here. Yeah, we're just going. Because this should mean Iran is now ours. More free factories? Okay. Let's go throw those factories up. Where are they getting this many fighters from? Also, don't we have... Yeah, we should have anti-air But I guess they just have so many more planes than us. Alright. This should be us winning Iran. Mm, really? Iran, what is your... 70%? There we go. Alright. Oh. The assassination of Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky was once the top lieutenant and heir presumptive of Vladimir Lenin. Died today in Mexico City Hospital. He was attacked in his home with an axe, axe by a Spanish national believed to have been employed of the NKVD. After a failed power struggle with Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party, of Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the 30s in exile, living in Turkey, France, Norway, before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and the degraded workers' state of the Soviet Union. Barbaric. All right. Oh hey, Italy's decided to make a push. Oh, I thought that was the United States for a second. Nope, that's just Japan. Let's take Delhi. Nope. Nope. There you go.
both of you just go. You probably won't meet, meet that much resistance, considering that all you're meeting here is infantry and you're somehow losing. Considering that we have medium tanks, we should be pretty good. Alright. Now, our original goal was in 1941 to have been ready for the Soviet attacks that would have probably followed. Instead, we've gone and said, you know what, we're just going to power through. Oh my gosh, this is pretty ridiculous. Um, we do need to recruit more infantry, however. 91, so we want 102. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And we want two of them. And then we'll put them down here. And they have plenty of equipment. Um, looks like they're getting equipped with the first level equipment, though. But that's fine. Equipment's equipment. A gun is a gun. Yeah. Medium divisions are going to destroy him. We are, however, going to have quite the issue due to... Attrition and poor supplies. Um, hopefully, we can rectify that by taking this naval base. I'm not certain if we will be able to, though. If we can, that'd be awesome because that might bring us into just keeping everyone alive with minimal issue. Let's check the supply zone. Um, just barely enough resources. Yeah, we're having issues here. Um, ports. So this port down here is our issue. No, I want a naval base. And I kind of want that at the top of the priority. Now, I'm not sure if that will continue to be an issue because we've got this naval base. But I imagine it still will be. We're gonna have issues for a while with attrition. Although not everyone's dealing with attrition, so that's good. We are, however, sticking back. Because we don't have the supplies. Yeah, very low supplies still. Um, how is that construction going? Pretty good. We're already 40% done. Oh! We had a minor loss here. by the United Kingdom. I mean, it's okay. Because we're just gonna crush him. Really? Okay. Garrison. I'm just gonna have you garrison these few areas. Um, there's one right there. 
Guys. Okay, it looks like they're attacking it. Yeah, it's only three, so... We should be able to take them out. Although they they don't even have the port, so... Yeah, they're gonna take attrition. And then eventually lose. There we go. They got pushed out. Damn losers. All right. We're doing pretty decent on our attrition now. And we are continuing our push. There. The armored division will get everything done first. Got our leopard, which means we'll want to mm, probably get to work on the Panzer IV soft attack 20, hard attack 19. It's also faster and it has 20 extra piercing. Let's get it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to actually check what our Um, let's get extra reliable. Oh, they have ridiculous speed. I guess we could upgrade their main gun. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll want to... Because we need a lot of them. But that other light tank was starting to really crash. Um, we're gonna go with Plan Z. Plan Z, become the greatest naval power in the world. Um, we could could theoretically try for a naval invasion. I just don't think we'd be able to win it. Um, where's... There's five subs there. Do we not have any ships here? Hmm. I don't know where our ships are. I'm guessing they all died, and thus we should change the production zone of these to a different area. I guess here because we can. I'm assuming we lost them. Considering that we're losing these guys pretty constantly.
Um, what color are you? Who are you? You are. You are. Okay. Oh, offensive line. We just want to push him out. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you are a really old division. Um, delete. You are like super old. However, we'll garrison you here. Considering that a military outpost was just sabotaged there. All right, I've almost taken Delhi. Currently losing. Um, we're at low supplies, that's why. The supplies issue is so bad. It also doesn't help that we are dealing with a huge army. Let's actually make a new theater. Make this India. However, this will have to end it for this episode um, because we're over on time again. But anyways, my name's been Bishaw. This has been Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Reich. We're making progress. We've kind of had a slowdown since, well, I mean, we haven't really had a slowdown. We've taken up all of this land. But certainly the action slowed down as we're just trying to prepare for an attack on the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, it's just going to be slow going for a little bit because we need to be able to fight the United Kingdom's navy for a little bit. Preferably for a little bit longer than like an hour because we don't have naval control and I don't think we can really get naval control. Um, hopefully their fleet is down here somewhere. But again, I can't be certain about that fact. And yeah, we're just having issues here. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and comment down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.